If you've been following me at all, you know I'm headed across America, like nearly 30,000 miles to 120 Harley Davidson dealerships on a brand new Road Glide Special Anniversary Edition. But I got the bike with like less than three weeks to get it built and road ready. And when spending like 90 days on the road raising money for veterans, you wanna make sure your bike is gonna perform at its absolute best. So I brought in two friends that are no strangers to building bikes that I ride. My boy Rusty from D&D Exhaust. Rusty, is this thing gonna run good or what? For sure it is. Gonna be a road trip machine. It's the only way we do them. And he brought in his boy Manny all the way from Arizona. Is it Trask Performance? Trask Performance. I thought so, man. And you just flew in to help get this bike built. Because literally I leave in like six days. And well, look at the state of this motorcycle. I mean, look at this table of parts. And all of this, all of this could be yours. I'd give a dollar for this bike. I'm not, the sure. bike's not for sale. It's just, it's given away. You gotta come meet me at one of my 120 dealership stops, Rusty. I'm here right now. No, this is not a, this is not a Harley, official Harley Davidson dealership fundraising stop. So that is the name of the game, right? So you just have to show up to one of my 120 Harley Davidson dealership stops. They're all fundraisers for the Wounded Warrior Project. And then you can scan a QR code if you go there while I'm there and you can enter to win my bike costs you absolutely nothing. Every one of these stops, like I said, is a fundraiser for the Wounded Warrior Project. I'm not gonna go into great detail because you guys know the importance of taking care of our military and certainly the importance of mental health and what it has done to so many soldiers with battles they fight right here in America. Wounded Warrior Project has helped a lot of veterans I know personally get through some struggles and uh, I'm proud to be raising money for them. I've set a goal for $500,000. You can get all the information, including my schedule, on my website, adamsandoval.com. All right, that's enough of the information about the ride, Rusty. What are you doing to the bike today? As far as performance goes, what we're doing is the Redshift 468 cam, SNS adjustable push rods, fueling lifters, Thunder Max tuner, an HPI throttle body, new injectors, Trask Performance air cleaner, and the Checkmate. And then what about that big Texas looking thing right there? That's the piece of a resistance. <laughs> that's the best part about all of it. That's what brings it all together and makes it work. And then for comfort and posture, what are we doing? Kraus hooked us up with an unbelievable amount of part. We got adjustable handlebars, top triple tree T-bars, gauge relocation, signature heart luck uh, hand grips, even got uh, shifter and brake pedals, and uh, a few components to make it look cool too. Y'all, this is an absolute ridiculous amount of parts uh, to be putting on a motorcycle in one fatal swoop. So this road trip's gonna be a true testament to these parts because it is gonna be like 86 days non-stop, every single day riding, pushing this motorcycle and I need it to perform its best and we're gonna put all this stuff to the test. So Rusty's a personal friend of mine but it's still super kind of him to come all the way out here, bring his boy Manny out and work on this bike for me. Uh, I think this trip means a little something special to Rusty because he is an American veteran himself. A Marine Corps veteran, all around badass. He does a lot for charity, and he does a lot to support the veterans community, and America for that matter. In fact, his exhaust, D&D exhaust, 100% made in America, right there in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, I mean, he makes everything, even like the little bolts and nuts he's making in-house. Well, because he just has American pride. So I can show you all this stuff in the packaging, but I think it'll look better when I show it to you actually on the motorcycle itself. I'm gonna let these boys get their job done and then we'll go over the bike. So these all blacked out. Looks good. Cam's all in. Yeah. Now the exhaust. Yeah. And now we are uh, starting on the front end. Gonna get those bars changed out. Get some risers on there. That'll make a big difference. Got the new derby cover on. The new shift linkage. These are bad ass. Ooh, look at that pipe. So it's a two into one exhaust, but we're gonna run a ghost pipe over there because the saddlebags, they have those cutouts underneath them. Do you hear that? See right now Rusty's plugged into the Thunder Max tuner and the cable goes up to the computer. What are you doing on there Rusty? Just loaded a map and now I'm just checking and make sure everything's cool. It's going on 10 o'clock at night and we're still in the shop grinding. It is going to be hard 
to have this bike ready in time for the Great American Convoy. Everybody's tired, everybody's wore thin, just trying to get this thing done in time. But these guys aren't stopping. They are definitely on a mission. Look who showed up. Good evening. My homeboy Doc, man. You guys remember Doc from all my videos. He's ridden with me in the deserts and Mexico. Good evening. And Good evening. Appreciate you. Love you, man. Love you too, man. Having uh, friends show up while we're out here doing this stuff does make it an awful lot of fun. <sighs> Welcome to morning number two. We are out here in the shop and uh, my front suspension's coming off. Manny, it's looking good. It is. So we're gonna put in the new cartridges, which are right over here. And that actually goes inside the fork tubes, which are right there. Improve the front suspension for this trip. But most importantly right there, boom, made in America since 1998. Is that everything? Are we done? Yeah. Let's go over what exactly we all did to the bike here today. We did a Redshift 468 cam, fueling lifters, SNS push rods, and then a Torrington inner cam bearing. Then we did the Trask air cleaner. Look at that thing. This is the same air cleaner I run on my Sportster dirt bike, and I absolutely love that thing. It's got such a cool look. It's clear through the front here, so you actually get to see your throttle body working. And made in America too. The other thing that we did from Trask is the uh, Checkmate, which is the one-way breather that, uh, that we discussed yesterday. The oiling system on Harleys is a dry sump system. You don't want any oil in the crank chests. It would slow the thing down, and that's what happens when if you've ever heard of uh, these M8 sumping, this particular item, it has a reed valve on the back side of it. So as the pistons move down, it creates positive pressure in the crank chest to push the oil into the cam chest where it can, the oil pump can pick it up and put it back into the oil bag. Great products. I use them all the time. How that thing works is a nice insurance policy. On this particular build, we did the uh, 58 millimeter throttle body from HPI. Um, and you can see that girl in there right there. Look at her. That is beautiful, man. The little details. And then, of course, we did our um, black billet cats with our standard Vortex baffle. But that particular one is perfect for long distance cruising. So, this is the same exhaust I run on my last road glide, the same thing Ashley runs on hers. I've absolutely fallen in love with this exhaust. Uh, it sounds good, it's nasty when you rev on it. And we're gonna start it up for you here in a minute and let you hear it. Well, the other things that we did to this is we also did the Thundermax fan, the Thundermax ECM, which is underneath the seat. We did the Krauss gauge relocation, top triple trees, handlebar setup, 100% adjustable. And that really is the truth. I mean, I sat on this thing, how many, we adjusted what, maybe four or five times? Yeah. I mean, we just, you know, twisting it, turning it, pulling it, you can bring it in and out. Positioning to me is really important. So these bars actually put me, I, I think I said it last night, they put me in the best riding position I've ever been on a bike. You just adjust these Allen wrenches right here and then you can turn these and completely change the angle of this. And then there, there's a slide tube here so you can actually bring them up and down to you and back completely change. You could even have one hand at a different position than the other hand. Really is just a good thing. The other things that Kraus hooked us up with is his heel toe shifter and also his derby cover. Yeah, that derby cover is, is really cool and I dig that little scratch pad on the bottom. It makes it look awesome. Oh, and we did these rear pegs, right? That's correct, those are a Krauss also. And we also did the Krauss brake lever over here, which is nice because these things come with that big old pedal on there. It's just a bit cumbersome. And then to finish it off, went ahead and installed your uh, Legends drop-ins yes. cartridge. Yes, so we got the drop-in cartridge, Legend. You can see the top of it right there through that triple tree. And then we've got the Revo Arcs on the back with the remote reservoir, it's adjustable. So I can actually tune it for my weight and the riding conditions. Another thing we did that's actually really simple to do is I added these Motac tack to pig They call them saddlebag tethers. They actually hold the lid open. But this one's got Velcro and Molly on the inside of the bag, on top of the bag, so you can customize it with patches. You can attach gun holsters. And it also has a pocket where I keep all my paperwork and important stuff. It's a little stash spot pocket there. Put those on both saddlebags. And then we also did all the serial 3D lighting on the back. Yeah, we got the bag blades. We got the filler panel inserts. Some new lenses coming for here. We got the machetes on the bottom. And then we got their spotlights, which I really like that fit in this lower crash guard there. We did the Clockworks windshield. 
which has really created a better air pocket for me. Make sure I don't have any buffeting in my helmet. This windshield should keep that from happening much at all. These grips are from Kraus as well. And then we've got my signature Adam Sandoval floorboards, mini boards for my highway pegs with the adjustable highway peg bar that actually mounts underneath your floorboard. And then this is infinitely adjustable too. I really like it. We did the Harley Davidson floorboards here. And then of course my signature ASR seat, which is a gel seat, which for me, long distance, I prefer gel seats. They give you the support you need on the road, really kill a lot of the vibration. And then it's got a removable backrest that you can put in or out. The time has come to take the bike for the first ride. But first I want you to hear this exhaust note from an idle to uh, a few pops or revs because it goes from being super mild to super aggressive really fast. I, I dig it. Rusty, you gonna start that thing up for him? I can. All right, man. So once again, to get you guys outside so we're not in the shop, so you can hear the actual exhaust note. And of course, remember, it's only going to be as good as the speakers on the device you're listening on. But here we go. Let's take it for a ride. Let's do it. <laughs> and it runs really good. I think my posture is perfect. The power is obviously there. I've tried a few different combinations and this just for me, especially for touring is the way to go. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta find what works well and you gotta use it. Posture, power, ride, sound. Everything's in place for this bike to tour the country. Me and this motorcycle are gonna do some good all across America for our heroes. Y'all listen, there's a big struggle out there every day. You know, people talk about the 22 a day and all these things. Our veterans went overseas to fight for our freedoms, to fight for what we stand for as a country. And then they come back here and they fight demons. Putting together a ride to raise money to help the Wounded Warrior Project give services to these guys and help these guys and girls fight these demons when they come home is super important. The work this bike and I are gonna to do together over the next few months is going to be amazing. Check it out, it's thegreatamericanconvoy.com and uh, at the end, one person who came out to visit me at the dealerships is gonna take this bike home free of charge. I look forward to meeting you, whoever you are, and I wanna give one more big thank you to all my sponsors who helped make this thing happen. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video with all of their logos and the Great American Convoy logo. This Great American Convoy is a testament to America and the other countries who support us. And a big old thank you to our American veterans. I think it's a hell of a way to celebrate Harley Davidson's 120th anniversary.